This is a petunia. It is a dicot. Dicots have netted branching in the leaves, and you can see that. It's easiest to see on the underside. You can also see it on the top. There's a dicot flower, the petunia flower. These are typical sepals I'm taking off. There's five of them. So it has five sepals, and they are all separate. So it is apocepalous. There's no swelling below it, so it should have a superior ovary. Flower's getting a little old, but it does have radial symmetry. There's the corolla, the pink part, and it has five petals. Oops, I tore it in between a petal, but they're all fused together. So this has five petals, sympetalous. If I open the flower up, I can see I have five stamens. There's one, two, three, four. I think the fifth one was, there it is. There's a fifth one or what's left of it. And they are separate from each other. So the stamens are apostaminous, but they are fused to the corolla. The term for that is the stamens are epipetalous, which means on the corolla, and that's a common situation. The uh, female, the gynecium, here's our, uh, broke off, here's our stigma, and I can see a little notch in the middle, which kind of makes me think it has two carpels fused together has a single style, and the ovary is way down in the base. See if I can get to it. That little swelling in the middle is the ovary. And of course, that's going to mature to form the fruit, and this would swell and get larger. So a fruit is a mature ovary. Now usually to figure out the number of carpels, and that's the hardest thing to do. We have an idea when I saw maybe two stigma lobes, but what you really want to do is section through the ovary, and it's going to be too small for you guys to see, so you'll just have to take my word for it. It does have two carpels there. And so this has two carpels, and they're fused together. So it is syncarpus, but it only has one pistil because they're fused, and it will only form one fruit. There is one female unit you can remove. The flower type is complete because it has all four worlds, calyx, corolla, andresium, and gynesium. Um, it is a perfect flower because it has both male and female parts, and that means the plant sex is hermaphroditic or bisexual. By the way, that's the pedicel, the stalk of the flower, and the receptacle was the area where all the parts attach.